Two brothers who would never know what it's like. A father's status who was always a secret. But I was never meant to keep my mouth shut. My mother taught me that brown girls don't keep quiet when everyone expects them to. I am brown girl! Except when the other brown girls tease me. Insults wrapped in Spanish, smacked against skin they know is mixed race. We, we tear, tear each other down, down over lost languages like the way the teachers beat the Spanish out of my father. I am brown girl. Eyes, skin, hair all close to the ground. Watered a little too much just in case it might be the last drop in the Arizona desert before monsoon showers us again. I am brown girl, not too light, not too dark, either described as just right or else were nicknamed Guera or Negra by our tias. It was obvious I was going to have to work harder. I couldn't become another statistic, another stereotype of brown girl who dropped out, of brown girl who cooks and cleans, of brown girl on border town lineage. I am no snake. I can't shed my own skin. This is my permanent shelter and you're not allowed to break me. I didn't always think of myself as just brown. I knew from a young age that life had it out for me. Looking into mirror, brown girl with brown eyes and brown hair. I am brown girl, navigating these identity complexities, making maps of my own where a Mexican father raised me in a house filled to the ceiling with books like Soy Chicano and the complete set of Encyclopedia Britannica. I am brown girl with a white boss telling me the best tortillas are in aisle five at Safeway. I am brown girl. Looking for other brown girls in my storybooks, in my history classes, in my teachers and bosses, we are brown girls! Lupe Ontiveros, a brown actress in Hollywood who we all know as Selena's killer, played a maid at least 150 times in her entire career, as if no other role would fit, as if a brown girl like me had no other purpose. We are either Virgen Guadalupe, so delicate and pure, or here to take your man, your house, your job. I am brown girl! Not just brown. Not just made, not just virgin, not just thief. This brown girl hustle be like working three jobs because you never know when you might lose one for speaking your brown girl mind. Like these weren't acceptable grades on my report card. It be like the way I had to make up for two dropout brothers and make it look easy. Brown girl hustle be like I'm tired, but I'm still gonna go though. When you're trying to sweep the floor and you have that last little bit of dust, but you can't get it in the dust, and I'm like, why are you <laughs> Brown girl hustle be like the way I asked my mom if she had a college fund for me like they do in TV shows, and she almost cried while telling me, no, mija. It was holding on to 4.0 GPAs because only the best of the best get to go to college for free. Like being in honor society, like being in poetry club, like waking up at 5 a.m. for cross country practice to pile extracurriculars onto my college application. Brown girl hustle, be like elbows deep in community work, like making something out of nothing, then watching men get all the credit for it as I stand there watching my contributions disappear. Brown girl hustle be like when you gotta be the cool mom that lets you stay up late but also the not so cool mom ready to whoop your ass out of bed. <laughs> Brown girl hustle be like I became the first in my family to graduate high school. It be like that was only the first step. Going to college where I was born and raised but still feeling like I moved away white faces and spaces because I wasn't supposed to make it this far. Brown girl hustle be like swallowing my depression like lumps of dry masa because there's no time for it. There's no counselor who will not say your culture seems to be the problem. So where do we draw from when the well runs dry? Don't expect us to beg for water. We find solidarity in each other like the way our ancestors did. Find solidarity and us, brown girl, listen to the way our heart beats. Can you hear us in this space? Can you feel us in this poem? Can you see us?
us in your reflection. Even when our mouths feel like dust, we're constantly vocal, constantly fighting, constantly making shit happen. <laughs> Done, soy cabrona. Yeah.